Well, the president has been weighing in on a number of Arizona issues lately, and we are closely watching to see how many will come up at tomorrow's event. And among them, a potential pardon for Sheriff Joe Arpaio, friction with Senator Jeff Flake, and the possibility of an endorsement for one of Flake's primary opponents, Kelly Ward. 3TV's Derek Stahl sat down with a former state senator today, joins us live with what she had to say. Derek. Yeah, good evening. So here's the, uh, the tweet that got everyone's attention from the president last week. He said, quote, great to see that Dr. Kelly Ward is running against Flake Jeff Flake, who is weak on borders, crime, and a non-factor in Senate. He's toxic. Well, that tweet seems awfully close to an endorsement of Ward. So I asked her if she'll be on stage with the president tomorrow. I am going to be there with hundreds, if not thousands, of my own supporters, Kelly Ward supporters, who are also supporters of President Donald Trump. Inside the event or outside? I'll be outside. I'll be inside too, I, I hope. I hope I make it in. Whether she gets in or not, former State Senator Kelly Ward appears to have gotten in to President Trump's good graces, while Senator Jeff Flake has fallen out. Flake criticized the president for not condemning white supremacy strongly enough in the aftermath of Charlottesville. What have you made of the president's statements, and have they been satisfactory to you? You know, they are satisfactory to me because he denounced hate, bigotry, and violence. And I think that people who are trying to score political points on the back of the president and his statement are going way too far because it is definitely not unifying the country. It's dividing the country even further. Few things are shaping up to be more divisive than a pardon for Sheriff Arpaio, but Ward says she would support it. Joe Arpaio is a good man who has tried to enforce our laws, has done in many cases what the federal government refused to do. But he's now been convicted in a court of law, you know. By a judge. Judge. By a judge, mm -hmm. so ought he not to have pay the consequences for that? Now? Well, I mean, you have to determine if that's politically motivated or not. So are you saying the Department of Justice prosecuted Sheriff Joe in a politically motivated way? Because, of course, the, that's part of the... DOJ is part of the, you know, Trump administration now. Right. Well, you know, we, we, will, we, we will see what happens in terms of a pardon for Sheriff Joe. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I, have, I have no idea if that's going to happen, but I would be supportive of it happening. Derek Stahl, 3TV.